This is Miner's Beach, and I think I found exactly where I'm gonna be tomorrow when I'm done hiking. There's a lot of signs that say not to not get too close to the edge because sometimes it's soft and it's not all rock. I think this is a great example of that. If there was a ledge here, you'd be tempted to walk out on it and it would be completely soft and not support your weight. Welcome to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Now this isn't a national park, but it is a national lakeshore. And I have been thinking about coming here since I started traveling. I came up to go to Isle Royale, which is a national park, and I had to stop here along the way. I'm spending a whole week in the Upper Peninsula, which means I get to spend two days here at Pictured Rocks. Tonight, I'll be sleeping at the Cliffs Campground, which is just right here. For now, I'm enjoying Sand Beach. I'm gonna go get some coffee and then drive to all the viewpoints along the lakeshore. We are officially in the Upper Peninsula, and this is Lake Superior. The visitor center is currently closed for renovation, but certainly worth the stop to see that waterfall. It's only 800 feet from the parking lot. You can't really beat that. I think I just realized that it's been since last summer that I backpacked, so it might take me, while I have everything in the car, it might take me a little while to pack up. Still gonna check out this viewpoint. This is absolutely beautiful. All the ferns and the sunlight, so pretty. This is Miner's Beach, and I think I found exactly where I'm gonna be tomorrow when I'm done hiking. I'll be pretty honest and say I could stay here all day but it's 2.40 and I need to go pack my pack and head out on my trail. 1.9 miles to the campground. And honestly, last night it stayed light enough that I could have hiked to like 9.30 or 10. So we'll be happy it's June and we have so many hours of sunlight. I need to go get my camp set up and hopefully enjoy it a little bit before it gets dark. It'll be fun, right? If I seem reluctant to camp, it's because I never sleep well in my tent. I got lots of good snacks and there should be stuff to do. I'm definitely not worried. There should be plenty of other people there. I do know that there's gonna be animals. So people have seen a lot of foxes. There's, what do we have? Black bears, all the small animals are here. Either way, I need to go pack up and head out. To go through all this stuff make sure i have everything that i need and not too much that i don't as i mentioned i don't sleep well in my tent so i'm taking my blow up pillow blow up mattress and then i'm going to take my thermo rest too i try to always take my trekking poles when i have a full pack extra charger for my phone checking my pockets to make sure i don't pack anything i don't need i do have a pack of kleenex which is awesome and my whistle this is absolutely one of my favorite camping items. It has a whistle, which is good because there are black bears in this area, a compass just in case, a thermometer, and a magnifying glass. Mostly the compass and whistle. Doesn't do you any help if you need the whistle and you can't reach it, so I always put it on my sternum strap. Got my sleeping pad. It is a dry camp spot, so I do need an extra water 
food bag. I do plan on boiling some water, so I'm going to take my stove, so I have a propane, a pot, and my little cooktop. I am not looking forward to carrying all this water, but at least it'll be less by tomorrow. Put anything in my hip belts that I might need right away, so I'm doing pocket knife and Kleenex. I'll probably put my phone in the other pocket or the GoPro so that I can grab it right away. As you pack your pack, you really want to center the weight. I have my tent in the middle and then the sleeping bag there. It should really help keep it steady on my back. I am lucky to only have to hike two miles, so I don't have to worry about it too much. And I did test my headlamp to make sure it works. I'm going to put that in my hip belt as well so that I can grab it really fast if I need it. Dollar Tree is my favorite place to go for camping snacks. I am only going to be gone for one night, so I just don't need very much. They have a lot of good food in town, so sandwich, pizza, tacos, all of those things can be done tomorrow. I just had one meal today at like 10.30. It's 3.30 now, so I need some good snacks, dinner, a snack for tonight, and then breakfast tomorrow. This is my main portion of dinner, um, snacks. These will likely be with dinner as well, lots of crackers. Um, dessert, which is very important, tea, and then breakfast. We've got mangoes, honey bun, and some coffee. Since it's gonna be cold tonight, that's why I'm taking the tea. Should give me something to do and help me warm up. I need to get all this packed up and filter some water. While that's filtering, I'm gonna pick out some clothes. I'm gonna go ahead and wear long pants. It's cold enough in the shade that I think it's a good idea. We'll see how it goes. I also know that I'm gonna need a lot of bug spray, which I'm gonna put on before I go, so I might as well wear long pants. And then I'm also gonna sleep in long pants. Last night it got down to 41. I think tonight it's only gonna be 55, but even if I get long pants and I don't use my sleeping bag, I'll be pretty happy. On the same note, I also have long socks. And then as far as hiking, I'm gonna change my shirt because I'm definitely not gonna wear cotton. Then I'm gonna take a shirt to wear to bed. tomorrow I'm kidding you're coming with me it is admittedly pretty hard to leave Betty overnight <sighs> We are off on trail. It is about, it's a little under two miles to camp. So I'm camping at the Cliff Individual Campground. I expect that the sites are numbered, so I'm site number one. As you noticed, I have a lot of bug spray on. I made sure to put it on my shoes and my hat because it is tick season. So that's fun. I'll see you at camp. There's a lot of signs that say not to not get too close to the edge because sometimes it's soft and it's not all rock. I think this is a great example of that. 
if there was a ledge here, you'd be tempted to walk out on it and it would be completely soft and not support your weight. The color of that water certainly reminds me of St. Thomas, but I felt it on my toes this morning and there's zero chance it's as warm. Uh, staying back because this is definitely one of those ledges on the sign. Someday that will be one of those trees washed up on Sand Beach. Just reached the turn off to the cliffs camp and we might have one of the best lookouts of the whole day. I was kind of trying to gauge where sunset will be and I expect it'll be just right that direction. So it's very bright right now and there's no clouds. So I don't know if there'll be a good sunset, but I might have to stop out and see anyway. We'll see how it goes. This is our home for the night. I did expect that other people would be here already. At least I know I'm campsite number one. It'll be interesting to see when other people show up. I'm gonna put my pack down. It doesn't really matter how short a hike is, it always feels good to take your pack off. We have a community campfire. to see what it is. Site 3 looks really nice, but you're right next to the bathroom. What? Let's hope there's no emergency need for that tonight. That is all the exploring we need to do. I think it's time to set up camp. just want to skip to the end. With the sleeping bag and the puffy jacket, I take all the air out of it, but it's more warm when it fluffs up. So it's good to get everything unpacked and ready. Also, if it gets dark, your camp's already set up. It's 5.45, which means I left about an hour and 45 minutes ago. So I was able to get here, obviously look around, and now get camp set up. I see a mosquito. And get camp set up all within an hour and 45 minutes. Now that I'm at camp, there are a few things I grab out of my bag. My headlamp so that I have it on me in case I need it. And my pocket knife. Luckily, I have little pockets on the side of my pants. So that's perfect. If I'm at the campfire or something, it might get dark and I have to just make it back here. I don't want to trip on anything. And if you look at this post, that would be the perfect thing to trip on on your way back to your tent. So better safe than sorry. Might as well put these two things on you when you're walking around camp. I 
I mean, it's not going to be the best thing, but it was a dollar and it'll work. I finished dinner and it's not quite sunset yet. It is starting to get cold, so it's time to make tea. walking down to the lake just to see if we can see sunset. It's just after eight right now. Sunset isn't till like 9.30. <laughs> I think I'd rather be at camp next to the fire when it gets dark instead of out here looking at the lake. Especially because I don't think there's gonna be any colors, but I do want to see the sun now that's a little lower. Wow, look at all the ferns. That's amazing. Whenever I see ferns like this, I always think of Jurassic Park and those like short, mean dinosaurs coming through the ferns. Maybe here that would be like black bears. My GoPro battery died on the way down, but it was so bright, I don't think you could see anything. I'll put a picture here. That is about it for tonight. I'm gonna go check out the campfire and, and go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's pretty chilly. I'm putting my clothes in my sleeping bag to warm them up before putting them on. First of all, I was pretty comfortable last night. The double sleeping pad is definitely a game changer. I was a little cold, so I'm gonna have to take more clothes for next time. There was some type of small animal that thought it definitely needed to be next to my tent last night. I don't know. I assume it was like a mouse up right here. It kept crawling up like right there and I would like rub the tent and it must have left and then it came back. I woke up a lot, but I feel like I got some sleep, so that should help.
my friend Jessica gave me this pour over coffee kit. She saw it on Shark Tank. We both love like women owned businesses and she wanted me to try it. It's traditional Vietnamese coffee so I thought it'd be perfect for camping because it has sweetened condensed milk. It's so good. Both groups that were here last night have left. It was great to have people here. They did a campfire, which was nice to sit around and talk with them. Also a great way to warm up before going to bed, which was needed. It's always fun when people are packing up and they're excited about their hike, just listening to them. It's time to break down camp and head out. All packed up and ready to go. I always do a second check to make sure A, I didn't forget anything, or B, I didn't leave any trash, because you didn't want to. See you, Camp One. This was certainly a really nice camp spot. I know it's not the best view here along Pictured Rocks, but I was really excited that I was able to camp out and practice before going to Isle Royal. We made it. Now we just need to check out the view. For some reason I have one more challenge for myself this morning. I think this is the spot. I can officially mark that off of my bucket list. <laughs> I have to say it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I, this fly is worse than going in the water for sure.